Okay, it's uh, Tim Wilms here. Uh, talking about the uh, Yoder six, YS640 uh, smoker and not being able to get enough uh, air pressure from the Smoke Daddy Magnum Pig into that thing. So uh, I came up with this pump. I found this pump versus the, the original pump, which I have uh, right here. Uh, this is the one that uh, is supplied with the Magnum Pig right there. Uh, you can see it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's a four four or a four watt. Uh, this guy here is a forty five watt. Uh, quite a bit bigger, substantial. It's a much bigger fitting on it as compared to the uh, fitting that's there. Uh, you can see it's a bigger fitting for sure. So it is going to put out a lot more air. Um, I tried it on the smoker over the time, and it actually worked out quite well. With this uh, pump comes this piece of hose here and a manifold. I just tossed the manifold. Don't need that. But it's interesting how the hose that comes with the with this pump, which is this aquarium hose, it actually fits inside of that really well. So I've just stuck it in there and it's like stuck in there almost like glue. Uh, which now this will fit on the end of this. And now you have your tubing, which is the same as this pump and it hooks into your smoke daddy no problem. So one big problem that we have with this pump though is that it flows a minimum of 50 liters per minute. So it's putting a lot of air out. Uh, so we need to restrict that down a little bit. How I did that is on, I got this from Amazon by the way, and this is the, uh, the brand of what it is right here. Uh, AC0003 is what I got. Uh, this was more than enough air. I didn't need anything bigger than this for sure. Um, but on Amazon I also found this controller. And it's just a, basically a, a controller where you put the inputs from the pump. Uh, I actually took the cable from the pump and I cut it in half. Straighten this out a little bit, but um, there we go. I just cut the cut the cable from the pump, and uh, you flip that guy up, and you hook him in, and it tells you up here, you know, which is the line and which is the the neutral, so you don't have a problem figuring it out. Just match them up, and it'll work out just fine. Uh, I plug this thing in, and if I put it on low, all the way to low now, um, you'll hear nothing is happening at all. And not a whole lot happens. It grunts and groans and makes some noise. It's a magnetic pump, so it's not your standard uh, motor that you think of. It's more, it's a, it's, it is a motor, but it's a magnet going in and out and pulsing a magnet, so which makes the pump diaphragm move. So as I turn it on, you'll hear something going there. There, now it's begun, and now it's starting to move a little bit. And you can feel the air coming out of the end here. And you can tone it back. You'll see on this controller that there is a, a large arc here. So if it goes, it goes from here all the way to there. So that's, a, that's the full arc. But you're only using this last little bit of it right here. And right now I've got it running. You can barely even hear it at all. Got a little bit of air coming out of the end. Not a whole lot. But there is some. You can you can blow around that little piece a little bit but then you crank it up the full it'll really whoop it's gone <laughs> so it really blows out this thing really vibrates around too as well but you can you can definitely adjust the air the air by the way of the uh, oh, uh, varying the speed of the motor uh, and that would work very well on a, on a I guess with a Yoder uh, this works good for a lot of smokers. If you've got a leak in your uh, in your lid, uh, a lot of leaks in your smoker, this pump is that they said with it is more than adequate. It works very well. Uh, the Yoder is sealed so well that inside of the Yoder cabinet itself, it pressurizes uh, the inside of it, and the only escaping air is going out through the stack, or and up through a little hole at the bottom where the where the pail is for the uh, grease trap. But how do you get any other air out of this thing? And how do you get the air forced into it in order to be able to uh, uh, have it burn properly? Well, you need more air in order, because now you're, you've got two airs combating each other. And you need to make sure that these combating airs, that the one from this pump is going to win against the, the, the Yoder fan that they have in there that they use for, uh, for the fire pot. So this one actually worked. I tried it this weekend. How I did it, though, is I took the hose and I kinked it with a zip tie and I just adjusted the zip tie up and down on the hose to make the kink more severe or not. That's how I had it going. I just got this controller today and I just tried it today. 
uh, seems to be working pretty good. I think it's going to work out okay. Another option you can do with this as well is aquarium stores have these little valves and you can get a little manifold with two taps on it and you can literally put it in line of that and just open up a tap and it'll bleed off whatever air you don't want going into the odor or into the smoke daddy that goes into the odor. You can bleed that off into ambient air and you can adjust your pressure that way and just leave this thing on full blast all the time. Uh, either way, it does work. So, I mean, uh, this, is, uh, this is the stuff that I've got. It's very, very simple. Uh, not a big deal, and it certainly makes a big uh, difference in the end. So thanks for watching.